I'm chopping off all of my hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am cutting my hair tomorrow and I am so excited. A little bit nervous, but mostly excited. I think this is gonna be the shortest I've ever cut my hair, which is what's making me really nervous. However, I have seen a lot of like modern girls cut their hair really short recently, like the, since the beginning of the year. Like even throughout the award season, like on the red carpet, like I saw so many short haircuts and I think it's so much fun. I've also seen it all over Instagram with people like Xenia Adonts and and also Gigi Hadid, which also brings me to my new favorite ad campaign, Miu Miu released their 2024 bag campaign, and oh my god, it is a 1930s dream. The color palette, the haircut, the makeup, the styling, just everything about it was amazing, and I feel like after seeing that campaign, I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm chopping my hair. I'm cutting it all off. Like, it honestly gave me the confidence to get the haircut that I've been wanting for a while. Okay, so let's talk about my inspiration. So, of course, I'm looking into the past, and I feel like this year I've been really getting into like 1930s so obviously the hair was a lot shorter in the 1930s but for the past couple of weeks I've been debating on if I should get like a u-shaped 1930s haircut which what I was worried about is that it would look a little too 1950s just because my mom cuts my hair so it's not like we're experts on how to do like vintage hair cutting so that's kind of the one thing that I was kind of worried about and then my other option was to go for a more straight across like going around kind of haircut which I've also seen for 1930s styles but I feel like my hair grows so fast that having the u-shaped one will just make my hairstyle last longer because as it grows it'll go more into like 1940s my biggest inspiration for my haircut is Ginger Rogers specifically from the movie Swing Time from 1936 with Fred Astaire if you haven't seen it highly recommend it it is so good and what I love about her hair in this movie is that it's like a u-shaped haircut and it's kind of floating so see how my hair is like touching the back of my shoulders here hers is like floating so it's like barely even touching her neck and I think it's really cute however it's a lot shorter than mine right now so uh, I think what my biggest struggle is going to be is not cutting it short enough because I always get nervous that I'm going to be cutting it too short but in my mind I'm telling myself I would rather it be a little bit too short than too long my hair does grow really fast so by the time like June comes around it's going to be so much longer anyway so um yeah so this is what my hair looks like when it's freshly brushed out <laughs> I just got my hair cut. This is what it looks like. It is so cute. I ended up going for that U shape. When I was getting it cut, it looked like this, and I was like, oh my god, that is really, really short, but it's actually not that short. Obviously, it's gonna look a lot shorter when it's in the rollers, so I'm gonna go set my hair, and then I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll take my rollers out, and we'll see how curly it is, and I have a really good feeling. I think it's gonna be really, really good. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. It's time. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. This is exactly the haircut that I wanted. Okay, let's just take down these rollers. <sighs> okay, this is the last one. Okay, it's, it looks short, but I mean, obviously it's like super tightly curled right now. I think this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna run my hands through it first. And then I'm just gonna like go crazy with brushing my hair. I'm using my Denman brush. starting to take shape. I'm gonna add some pomade and I was debating if I should use the Murray's or the Suavecita one but I think I'm gonna use Suavecita because I feel like I have more experience with it. A little bit and my fingers and then just like coating the top a little just to get rid of some of this volume. And I'm gonna grab a rat tail comb and just squish that down a little. This. Okay. 
I'm going to try pinning this up and seeing how it looks. Okay, wait, that's kind of cute. I do have to brush it out a little bit more because it's usually a little too fluffy when I first like pin it up. And then let's try this side. Okay. Oh wait, this is cute, this is cute. Okay, I think this is good. It looks really cute. There's a little bit too much volume back here, but I'm gonna add some clips to squish it down. like a bunch of hairspray so this one is the L'Oreal All Net volume one and the only reason I'm using volume is because I actually can't find one that is not volume that is also extra stronghold and actually has a fragrance the only other extra stronghold that they have is the um, unscented one and it has like a really strong chemical kind of scent to it which is ironic and I actually hate it so I just, I've been buying the volume one they used to make like a regular one that I loved but anyway I haven't been able to find one in a while um... <laughs> I think it's so cute. I just took off all the clips that were on the back of my hair and I think it's really, really pretty. I don't think I've ever had hair this short. I was a little bit worried about looking like a boy because I feel like I have very strong features. Like I have a very strong jaw and cheekbones that I thought maybe the shorter hair would make me look like a boy, but I don't think that it does. I think it's really cute. And I feel like with more feminine outfits, kind of like the blouse that I'm wearing right now, I feel like it works really nicely. It is literally exactly what I wanted. It is a little bit like, I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to it, but it's a little bit shorter like right here-ish, but honestly in like a month it'll grow to like the point where I thought it was gonna be. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. I like keep looking at myself in the mirror and it's like, I have to get used to seeing myself with shorter hair, but I do think it's really cute. I think it's gonna be so fun to play around with different hats and different accessories and stuff. I'm really excited to style it this season. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I get my hair cut and see a really big change. I hope you guys like it because, well, I mean, you'll be seeing it every week for the next few months, so I hope you guys like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!